These three easy to ask questions help me refocus my productivity for maximum effectiveness. And they can for you as well. And later I'll show you how to streamline this process which creates greater, longer lasting productivity. Fast fact, we like to feel productive, even if what we're doing isn't necessarily accomplishing a whole lot. Our brain can be really sneaky about this. Let's say you have a project you're working on. It needs your full attention and is priority number one. This task isn't something that you really want to do, but you're a responsible, disciplined individual, so instead of outright procrastinating, you find something else that you probably should do and go do that instead. It's a form of procrastination, but you often won't notice it because you're doing something that in fact does need to be done, but it's just not a top priority. You are confusing busy for productive. In real terms, here's what this looks like. All right, this video script will take about two hours. Oh, look, the yard needs mowed. Now, I don't really want to mow the yard, but because it's a much easier task than this other one, it looks much more desirable. Watch how my brain justifies this. Hmm. So mowing will give me time to think and come up with ideas for my video. And since both of these need to be done anyway, I might as well do the one that's most enjoyable. Notice what happened here. So I took both these tasks and I put them on the same level of importance by saying that, well, they had to be done anyway. Now that may be true, but most important tasks come first, always. So let's back it up and see what would happen if we asked this question. Right here, if I had asked, am I inventing things to do to avoid the important? The obvious answer is yes, but notice how this question demands that we place a level of importance on each task. It instantly creates clarity of what needs to be done and what doesn't need to be done. This question will save you a lot of confusion and <laughs> dramatically increase your productivity. Being effective is not about how you do something, it's about what you do with the time that you have. Because all of us have enough in our life to keep us busy, you know, for multiple lifetimes. <laughs> so time isn't the problem here, priorities is. Would you want to spend your day doing things that are not important to you? No, obviously not, no one wants to do that. But here's the catch, most of us do this every single day. Because without asking this question and clearly defining what is most important to you, and where you are placing your priorities every day, the unimportant will become important. Just like the first question, this one demands that you identify what is most important to you and place a target on that. Then when something pops up that's unimportant and tries to demand your attention, you've already got your focus locked on where you're going. This also ensures that at the end of the day, you've hopefully accomplished at least one thing that is taking you closer to your goals. The last question we asked was to define um, where we are going, right? Placing the importance on a task ahead of us that way we can pursue it. This next question is about clearing out the snags and removing the things that could trip us up on our way to that. So going back to this question, what are three activities that we use to feel as though we're being productive even though we may not be. They're like filler activities. And we all have an uncanny ability to do this. And there's there's no shame in admitting it. We all do it at, at some point. So be honest with yourself and clearly lay these things out so you can see them for what they are. This is a very important aspect of productivity. So take your time on this. Write it down and place it somewhere where you can see it because this area will eat a lot of your time. And just like the first question brought out, these may be things that you could or even should be doing but they're simply not as important as the things that you're setting aside in order to do them. For me, frustratingly enough, the biggest one is video editing. The biggest reason is that there's always something to be editing. And since it has to be done, it seems like a logical use of time. When in reality, it's a huge time suck because there are literally infinite amount of things you can do with a video edit. It's easier to edit a video for 40 hours than it is for 10 hours. You watch it through and oh, I'm gonna change that. So you watch it through again, oh, change that. Now watch it through again and uh, oh wait, I don't like that, let's change that back. And so you go back and forth and you change these little tiny things and you have to watch the whole thing through just to change one little small area. So if that's a 15 minute long video, you just lost an hour of your time. And all you did was change these tiny little things, not to mention, there could also have been, you know, tutorials and things that you watch in between there to learn how to do this fancy new thing that you're trying to do or that I'm trying to do. And, and so I might watch five tutorials on how to do this one little transition that 
might last a half a second. So I combat this by setting infuriatingly short deadlines that force me to stay in the moment and present. It, it keeps me out of this mindless, mindless editing for me. And so depending on what sucks the most of your time, it's gonna have to be different for you, but very strict, short deadlines is what keeps me hopping. Now, if you want a way to easily streamline this process and create greater, longer lasting productivity, hang around for just a hair longer. Our goal is not to be asking these questions for the rest of our lives. Our goal is to adopt them as habits so that they become a part of us and happen automatically with little to no conscious effort. And this is the beauty of productivity because after we do this for long enough, it simply becomes a part of who we are. It becomes a part of our behavior. Here's how we're gonna do this. For the first question, set a reminder on your phone to go off at least three times a day asking you this question. Am I being productive or just active? Or modify it like I did to match your specific needs. For me, that was, am I inventing things to do to avoid the important? Do this every day for at least a week then slowly cut back over the course of a month as needed. And before long, you'll be asking yourself this question and living out of it without even realizing it. For the second question, preferably each evening, but this can also be done in the morning, plan out your day and the things that you want to accomplish. Then go task by task and star one to two with large items that answer this question. If this was the only thing that I accomplished today, will I be satisfied with my day? Keep in mind that there should never be more than two mission critical items to complete each day. The reason for that is it's simply not necessary if these are actually high impact mission critical tasks. For the third question, set a reminder for each week, preferably at the beginning, to write out this question and clearly answer it. What are the top three activities that I use to fill time to feel as though I've been productive? And keep in mind, don't just write the things that you wrote last week or before this because as time goes on these answers will change and unless you change with it you'll be trying to drive the future with a rear viewing mirror 